time guys who watch this welcome to another video for my regular tribe members welcome back welcome back welcome back <laughs> for those who are new here my name is Zara Marie and here is a vibe here is where we have clean Christian content I try to post a real private um, as much as possible um, so if you're interested in this type of content and like some adult thing stuff some vlogs um, all in the name of Jesus of course please keep on watching I think by now the save the date poster for the Dare Church Girl Retreat has been dropped uh -huh. ladies please keep the date in mind save it wipe your calendar clean this year is going to be even better than last year and trust me the retreat last year was transformational so i'm looking forward to hosting it this year i'm looking forward to seeing you all as we meet and greet and pray and sing and cry and chat and share stories and yes so it's going to be a bag of excitement anyways moving on to the video in this video we're going to be talking a little bit about journaling and how i journal how i'm going to be journaling in 2022 going forward i talk a lot about journaling but i've never really shared my journal outline with you so for those who have bought the their church girl journal for my father's eyes only the outline there's an outline in there there's an outline that i shared with you at the front along with some journal prompts and i want to talk a little bit more about the outline that i use why i use it and why i'll be continuing to use it in 2022 if it's something that you think will help you then it's free you can go and get it <laughs> you can can write it down and use it firstly i I like to have an outline because I like structure but structure doesn't work structure doesn't work for everybody so I don't want you to feel pressured into following a particular structure because this is the structure that I have decided to use all of us are different and all of us like different things we approach things differently so don't feel boxed in because this is something that I have decided to share you feel me I still want you to be focused on how you write and how you can talk to God the most so Sometimes another thing is that I don't always follow the structure it's just that most times I do on the days when I just don't feel like it I don't follow it you're not a slave to anything you're not a slave to a routine you're not a slave to a structure do what you need to do to talk to God all right so this is how it usually goes I normally journal in the mornings this is my regular everyday journal it's just a regular notebook that I got for I think Zondre got me this. I think he got it at like Target or Marshalls or one of them placed it, right? And as you can see, I used to have another one that's about this size and it finished. And I like to have this size because I don't really bring it anywhere. I don't it's it's a home journal. I, I use it at home. And then I use my Dare Church Girl journal for Bible studies. I use it for when I'm going to church events or if I just, if I need something to bring this zoo. This is the one I have in my prayer school. Um, it's purse friendly. Alright, so now let's get to the structure. So I usually start out by saying Dear God. And if I don't say Dear God, I say hey Jesus or but I start it off like a letter. And when I start it off like that, I think it helps me to feel as if you know, I'm talking directly to him and I usually do this in the mornings. So it's the start to my day. I don't journal at night. Some people journal at night. I have had times in my life when I journal right before bed so that I can write my, my, my day for the following day. Um, I don't know if I will want to implement that later on, especially when I start thinking about the people themselves. So I will have a schedule, like sync with calendars and stuff. But right now at least for the next couple of months of singleness no <laughs> i'm not doing that so um, i start with dear god and then i try to just worship so i tell him thank you praise him for whatever i need to praise him for for the first couple of things i just don't ask for anything i just i just i'm just so grateful and in those moments i try to find three things that i'm grateful for and trust me 
guys i'm never out of things god is so good to us every day him show up like i'm never failing and i'm not even being dramatic or well i'm being a little dramatic but i'm not even like being extra god just never leaves and i if i'm getting excited because if i'm supposed to look through my journal right now i can see the little things and it really helps me to reflect on the little things it helps me to reflect on the big things that sometimes we don't remember so i try to have three things that i'm grateful for and if i said thank you for it yesterday i tried to find three completely different ones I don't remember where that cut off but i was talking about the goodness of god right so i tried to find three things that i'm grateful for after i find three things that i'm grateful for i now used this the next opportunity now to reflect on what i read or studied in the morning so usually for my devotion i so this is kind of a part of my devotion my prayer journal is a part of my devotion right and then what I do is that if I read a verse, if I read a passage, anything I read or anything I pondered upon that morning and I try to read as a part of my devotion. So even if it's one line, even if it's just the verse of the day from you version and somebody had already said something about it, I, I write there how I can apply that to my life, how it's relatable, if it's something I'm going through and just something as it relates to that right and then after that now whatever random thing on my heart if i need to pray for anybody if somebody pops up in front of me sometimes i would have previously written down prayer requests like in the back of my journal or in the notes notes app on my phone whether it's a prayer request that i've taken from somebody or it's a prayer request that i have personally i just scroll to that and i pray for that person during that time i'm gonna say i am right i right for some people you know sometimes going because for me when I pray vocally it sometimes I get distracted sometimes I fall back asleep because it's morning I do it in the mornings right so honestly no found a business in a journal I'm just really upset nobody I joke I joke I joke I joke I joke most times I don't really write details um I I just write like cursory stuff I have not found my business in a journal I'm just hope nobody don't find it because mother too shame <laughs> But I mean, it is what it is. Um, God sees, he knows my heart and it, it's my favorite way to communicate. So yeah, I pray for anybody. I pray about anything that's on my heart at this moment. If I have to ask God for something, that's this is where I put it. And if I'm supposed to, you know, complain about, you know, as humans, we always are complaining. If I have a complaint to God about anything, that's where I put it as well. And then finally, I write my schedule for the day and I found that this is the one thing that has helped me the most because as I, some people do it from the night before I've tried that um, it's, it is in good discipline it works sometimes um, but I just there's just something about doing it in the morning I don't know it might be a personal thing it might just because I haven't done the night thing good enough but yeah, I like it. I like the, the morning thing. I don't really know about you, but I like Wait, Do you plan your day from the night before or the morning? Which one do you think works best? But anyways, that's when I look on my day and I write down. I write down everything. I do from, okay? So normally I'm up at 6, so you know, from 7 to whatever, you're going to the shower. Then 7.30, you're going to start getting ready for work. Whatever it is. And I plan that day. I try to include if I'm working from home I try to include breaks and stuff like that and then I, I also try to say okay we're finishing working at a certain time I want to have a wind down time where you turn the lights down you maybe put on a candle play some music shower stuff like that and I want to be very detailed as possible because it really helps me with my productivity and it really helps me to accomplish stuff it really helps me to see everything that I have to do and when I need to get them done and stuff like that I try to block times off do I always succeed maybe not most times I don't but I have my day has a general guide right 
and then after as I say God here is the plan that I have for my day um, I have placed it before you but God you know best so if you need to shuffle things around for your glory if you see if you see loopholes in there that's that's better for that's going to help me to have a more productive day or a more productive be more productive for the rest of the week God do your thing do your thing I'm trusting in you so um, and then I just wrap it up by asking him to help me to have a good day and to send his holy angels that you know that's you Usually about the same thing said in a lot of different ways but yeah that's really how I pray a journal especially because I do it in the morning I really hope this is something that you can use if you think it can apply to your journaling life and let me know what do you do do you follow a structure do you just journal like it's just vibes let me know what do you do what does your prayer journaling what does your prayer journaling look like all right thank you so much for watching bye